Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac Antrobert that I just recorded like a bunch of let's look at. I find myself in the commentary. Here's our seat. FHNN A6AB. Ooh, banned stats. Ooh, we just got banned from Nick's chat. Uh, milk at least lowers tear delay, as I finally learned after, you know, five years in the biz. But, you know, the cup of milk hasn't been in the game for five years. But regardless, oh my god, that was actually quite dicey. I'm impressed. You got me. We're gonna need to find a way to get a spirit heart. Uh, it, hopefully we get HP from our boss, or hopefully we get an all stats upgrade from our boss, but um, what I was gonna say is uh, I've been recording a bunch of Let's Look at recently, and it's great to be playing new games, don't get me wrong. It feels good to be back. I can't believe... You know, sometimes it feels like I land that, sometimes I don't, but... Uh, I'm oftentimes, in the commentary, find myself being like, you know, there's a lot to talk about that I'm reasonably unfamiliar with. Was I scared there? A little. A little scared, I think it's fair to say. Um, it's good to be back in Isaac, a game that I'm very familiar with, although may die here. Hopefully not, though. So we have access now uh, to the shop with six bombs. Well, we're going to have four when we get in there. And also the curse room. This is very important. We do have a... Well, Deep Pockets is really good as well, but the big deal here is that we have a Spirit Heart for sale. I don't think we'll be able to get to Deep Pockets reliably. So I think we buy this, and then we go into our curse room and hope that we've got no enemies. Okay, I mean, we have th technically like seven enemies in the form of this fire here, but, uh... Could be worse. Okay, there's money. I'm hoping maybe a two of diamonds could swing it for us. Two of clubs instead. Okay. Pop two of clubs, take Wheel of Fortune. This is really what our donation machine is here for. We're gonna try to get, like, maximum safety on this floor. Now, do I want deep pockets or car battery? It's actually kind of a tough choice, um, because deep pockets is better immediately, because car battery is useless immediately, but car battery may well be much better in the long run. But I think we go deep pockets. Let's be honest, we could probably use something that helps us right now. So we get deep pockets. Now we can hold two things. We still have a... Uh, High Priestess card. And the High Priestess, I want to use it to kill basically whatever our most pressing concern from a boss standpoint is going to be. By the way, I should point out, as much as it might seem like this is a bad run right now, we're extraordinarily lucky to have been in a situation where we got the ability to get into our shop. If our secret room had been in a different location, um, this would have been much worse. So I, I really blame myself for taking a lot of damage here early, but um, we have not the, the greatest run to start with here. If Whitney Houston wrote a song about this run, or at least sang a song about this run, I don't know, maybe she wrote it, maybe she didn't. Uh, it would not be called the greatest run of all, let's put it that way. Is there much of an overlap between my audience and people who love Whitney Houston? You know what, I would say there's probably a decent crossover because Whitney Houston is an artist who transcends the traditional bounds of her genre. So, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, a cultural phenomenon was enjoyed by people who also enjoy my content. Is this the scariest run we've had recently? Yeah, I think that's probably fair to say. The tier delay is not as useful as I was hoping. I mean, it, we've been playing like shit, I'll admit. But also, come the fuck on, right? Okay, spirit arts, please. Nah, those are not spirit arts, haha. Okay, there cannot be a bad trip, so we should take these. Perks. Well, this is the scariest shit of all time. The way I see it, we grab this, take it, puberty, does not matter. Then we use our last bomb to look for a second secret room, and we immediately pop High Priestess on whatever boss we're fighting. We hope it's a boss that just dies instantly. So Duke of Flies would be like awesome for us. I think we'll just try right here. Just be cool. This room sucks right now, by the way. <laughs> In case you were wondering, Hey NL, how do you feel about this room that could uh, accidentally end your life pretty easily? The answer is, I think it fucking sucks. I really dislike it right now. But the best way through it is going to be, you know, doing our due diligence. There we go. In fact, just shoot all this fire up here. I've been hit on this room more times than I'd care to admit. I didn't mean to blow that up, but that's okay. Now we just get these pushed over here. 
close enough to blow up. And then if there's spiders, we just leave, man. Goat hoof. Pretty good. More important than getting bombs? I don't know. But speed is valuable. Goat head. Actually great. Hopefully we live long enough to make, uh, to make it useful. Hey, it's the Duke of Flies. As prognosticated. HP, please. Okay! Uh, there before the grace of God go I. We are alive, headed down to the next floor. Frightening moments, but here we are. And actually, if we can find a way to get another spirit heart, uh, we're very well set up, if I may say so myself. Um, we have goat head. We have deep pockets. Those are the big ones. In fact, perhaps the only ones, depending on your perspective. But that has transformed this run into a run that has very little upside, into a run that could potentially, if we survive long enough, have great upside. Now, mind you, we don't have a whole lot of deal with the Devil Fuel right now. Uh, I.e., we low on HP. There's no doubt about that. Uh, but that was a, a historically poor floor for me. That is a floor that, you know, makes it into the Guinness Book of World Records for one of the worst first floors I've ever had. Basically, thank God for High Priestess, thank God for that secret room, thank God for that two of clubs pick up. There, there's a lot of things that we should be very thankful for. But also, fuck the game for putting us in this shitty position in the first place. But you know what? We've had a lot of good runs recently. We've had a lot of great runs recently. It feels right to be tested. To whom much is given, much is tested. Get arrested, get some chili, get the message. Oh! Bark more jewelry. What do I... I can't remember all the lyrics. More Louis V. My mama couldn't get it through to me. Oh! Good and got in me. Okay. We don't have any keys. I don't know why I was so excited for the item room then. This room is not as tough as it looks, but it is really, really goddamn annoying. So many enemies, and many of these enemies create other enemies upon their death. We'll just continue firing in the hopes of uh, kind of passively taking them out before they annoy the Christ out of me, but... I don't have high hopes. I mean, it is taking us, like, three, or it's taking us four hits to kill Grandfather Flies. It's actually terrible. Um, and I know every time. I've talked about this before to the point where people are probably like, Dad, shut up about But for real, people always come into the woodwork on these runs, and they go, this is my average run. You don't know how lucky you've got it, blah, blah. Yo! I've got the sample size of like a thousand here. Where's your thousand sample size? Show me the proof. I got video evidence. This is not an average run. This is an, well, not unprecedented, but a, a very on average run in a bad way. Do we have a lot of above average runs? I would say yes, even though that makes no sense mathematically. Technology is probably okay, but um, this run is not one of them. This run is terrible right now, even with technology, perhaps especially with technology, um, but it does have piercing, and you know what? Loki's horns may help us out on some of these rooms. A tinted rock and a bomb would be nice, or a key, or, you know, literally like any consumable, not that I'm being picky or anything. Um, as long as we go fast enough, we should be fine here. Wow, we're not fine. We are not fine. I am going to accept that boss rush is probably already a forgotten dream. And we're going to shoot all this looking for money and spirit hearts. But let's be honest, ideally money, a luck upgrade is a very nice touch. Five cents, now that we have a key, allows us to get to a spirit heart. So, well, allows us the, the chance to get to a spirit heart. I always count my uh, chickens before they hatch for shop spirit hearts. And then sometimes find myself being disappointed. There's our fifth cent. In all likelihood, we should... Go get that taken care of right away. But I've never been the kind to do my due diligence properly like that. I mean, it's tempting. I can't dispute it's tempting to just uh, throw caution to the wind. What do you got for me in here, by the way? Two stone chests. You know what? I'm glad that we at least looked at it because now I know that I have no interest in that unless we get bombs from the boss or, you know, some other area, I guess, that I can't even consider right now, but I'm not worried about inside baseball, you know, Isaac senior level thesis or anything like that right now. I'm just worried about the very bare bones basics of Isaac, like how are we going to survive one more floor? The spirit heart is dual purpose. Thank God. The spirit heart is dual purpose here. 
Ooh, another luck upgrade, too. Uh, also allows us to take a deal with the devil. Now, the best deal with the devils... Deals with the devil, I should say. Nine lives, anything that gives us HP, anything that gives us survivability. The worst would be, like, you know... I, I think that even worse than just getting something like Brother Bobby would be getting, like, one deal for Death's Touch. where I'd, Or Dark Matter, let's say. Where I'd be like, ooh, I really want to do it, but it doesn't seem like the right decision. You know, we want we want that precedent, but we don't want to go too low. But we probably, you know, knowing myself, would go for it anyway. But let's not uh, freak out about it too much until we see what we're going to get from this deal with the devil. We know we're going to get one because we have the goat head. All we need to do is survive here. So just stay away from Little Horn's uh, bombs. And we should be solid. Ideally, he will just die before he spawns anymore. Because I think they're the only things that could really completely ruin our run right now. Good, I think we're going to get him. That was nice. We got Synth Oil, which is lovely. Oh, right, we have, um, much to my chagrin, Curse of the Blind. So we wouldn't have known what would show up here anyway. Now, Synth Oil's dope, don't get me wrong. I'm very happy to have it. And I'll take whatever he gives me here. I don't know if uh, we get a boost from Lump of Coal, but that's what we're going to have. We're going to head down to the next floor. You know what? Before we head down to the next floor, fingers crossed. I felt like it was worth a shot. Let's move on here. I'm going to hydrate a little bit. It's been a long day. Way behind schedule for Boss Rush, Curse of the Lost. But at least we have damage. We're still on a, a pretty shitty level of HP. And this is, a, this is the first run in a little while where, you know, even though we're fairly... I don't want to say late in the game. I mean, we're, we're 10 minutes in. We should be done the run by now, right? No, but um, where it's been bad... And doesn't necessarily promise to get better. Like, Goathead... I can't remember. Does Goathead guarantee us a deal with the devil? Or does it guarantee us a deal? I.e., could it be with an angel? Because, I mean, I, to be honest with you, I'm not sure a deal with the angel is necessarily a bad thing right now. It might be. It might not be. I don't want to take this pill yet, though. I'll tell you that much with relative certainty. I think our best case scenario, and I hate to say this, but our best case scenario is really to just not get hit. I hate to say it for a couple of reasons. First, because it's terrible commentary. So, you know, when he scores the ball in the end zone, that's six points, and then they can add another one if they get the kick afterwards. You know, it's like we hold these truths to be self-evident. But at the same time, it really is the single greatest way that I can affect my chances of winning, I think, right now. The, the single greatest way that's within my control, at least. That's not necessarily true on every run. You know, some runs you might be able to do some, you know, bullshit strategy with the D6 or, you know, any die for that matter to make it happen. But uh, on this run, we are, uh, we're stuck with what we got. And what we got right now is not a recipe. What we got is a meal. You know, we got a set of rations. We don't have the tools necessary to create a great situation for ourselves, necessarily. I think this is definitely worth it. Okay, that like was extraordinarily worth it, actually. Um, we just gotta, we gotta live on these frozen survival meals until NASA sends the crew back to rescue us or something here, because this is not a good situation. But we do look awesome. We look like a RimWorld colonist right now. Wow, I don't know what to say about that except for sorry, and that's not just the Canadian in me, that is just shitty damage. I was like, well, it's it's the technology conundrum, you know? You're like, this thing has a shitty hitbox. We've seen our shop, presumably at least. I would like to... Why does the poop block technology? But an enemy does not. I don't know if I should complain, because it could get changed to the way that I don't like, but... I think the poop should not block a shot either. Daddy long legs, quite good. The extra keys, I will never complain about this. But please God, hook me up with something just like a little bit greater. Daddy long legs, at least faster boss kills. We don't have to freak out as much about, you know, the enemies that we're facing. And certainly this is going to be good. I'm not going to say for boss rush because that's ridiculous, but good for bosses throughout the game. I would say at this point, boss rush is basically uh, an impossibility. Of course, that's not literally true, but it, it's closing in on being literally true. Okay. 1353. It's also about the level of our present technology. 
It's from the year 13. I don't know where this joke's supposed to go. Let's try it. We're in like the the Dark Ages here. But actually, you know, the, the Dark Ages is not the preferred term anymore, right? Because it's, it's too... Uh, well, it's inaccurate, but it's also too Europe-centric or something. Like now, they prefer to be called the Middle Ages because there were parts of the world were going through like a, a renaissance at the time. So you know what? We're in the Middle Ages right now, but we're in the dark part of the Middle Ages if you're, if we're using that analogy. Ooh, okay, a golden chest is fine. And that's not really what I was looking for, but life goes on, I suppose. Okay, gurglings that are also turdlings. Gurgan turd in a game. What could be better than playing a game of golf with a gator? Okay, HP. Goathead, we already have Goathead, so we might as well walk in. And I think you take Brimstone. Oh, we can't get that. Um, I think you take Brimstone. And then that gives us one HP. So it is right to take it. Don't... I know it gives us one HP, but am I willing to risk everything on it? No, I'm not. I know. I know it gives... Not one HP, but one Demon Heart. I know for a fact it gives us one Demon Heart. But am I willing to stake my life and my streak on it? No, I'm not. Even though it would give us uh, half of a... Um, half of a... Uh, what am I trying to say here? Half of a uh, demon heart if we were right. Or I guess it would give us a full demon heart if we were right. Um, I love this technology brimstone graphical synergy, by the way. Am I will- I just- I'm 99.9999% confident. But the risk of being wrong is so great that I can't do it. And oh my god, we finally got a, a little spirit heart back here. I feel like, you know, we're atoning for previous sins or something in this run. Like, this shit is ridiculous. Balls of steel. Now I appreciate it. Don't get me wrong. I love... Dude, Brimstone is definitely getting a huge bonus from Lump of Coal here. You just have to be far away to, to really notice it. Um, I would love... And then, first off, again, I really appreciate the fact that we did get uh, some Spirit Heart bonuses here. Love it. Don't get me wrong. However, at the same time, could you have spread them out a little bit so that we weren't scared for our fucking lives for this long? Because honestly, now it makes me look like kind of a little bitch. Like, oh, you got one, you got so much damage, and you got three and a half HP. What are you scared about? You didn't, you didn't live what I lived, man. Yes, to, uh, hello, come in. Oh, it's everybody's favorite cat, Tomo. Hi, Tomo. No meows for me? I think I can get a meow out of him. Tomo! Give it a sec. Give it a sec. He's thinking about it. You know how dogs is and all that. Tomo! You got nothing for me? You just... I think I'm being used. It's like a territorial dispute between my two cats. Ruka! Yeah, they're not looking at me. They're in their own cat world right now. I know we can play the fortune teller. I don't care that much. We actually finally found an opportunity to use the yum heart. And to be honest with you, this run should be easy now. Not as easy as, you know, some runs that we've seen in the past, but uh, easy enough to, to not be nearly as scared of as I was uh, very recently. We've got all of our problems sorted. We have enough HP to survive, uh, at least temporarily, even through a couple of mistakes. We got enough keys to do whatever we want. We get Dead Onion, which I think effectively does absolutely nothing right now, so that's a huge bonus. We got that going for us, which is nice. We got Heat Seeking Poops. I'm a big fan of those. They've The Poops have been really nice so far. They've only hit me eight or nine times more than they've, you know, ever hit me before in my life. 28 cents. Well, a secondary objective for us after, like, winning this run and having a good time, which I think now we're well on our way to doing, is uh, maybe giving a little bit of money back to our donation machine that we were so unkind to in order to get Deep Pockets. Now, Deep Pockets has provided me with no benefits so far that I can see. Um, probably would have been it for the best for us to take car battery, even though it would also be useless for us right now, but useless with, like, the chance to be even greater in the future, I think. Little light on the keys here. We're only going to get three or four, but we are at 13 now. You only need three or four keys of floor, uh, unless you've got 
some weird synergy going on with Guppy's tail, so I'm not gonna sweat that. I'm also not gonna sweat that pill. Unless they'll give it to us without having to go over it, in which case I will sweat that pill, whatever that means. Pill, I'm gonna make you sweat. Ooh, sweat till you can't sweat no more. And if you cry, I'm gonna push you some bone. Okay. Creepy Inner Circle lyrics there. Inner Circle is also a creepy name for a band. Anybody asks you to join that band, it's gonna come across very strange. Do you want to join the Inner Circle? I don't know, it sounds like a big commitment. I'm not taking Multidimensional Baby because I don't think it helps us here. Does it help Brimstone? I thought it did not. With Azazel, it gives you, uh, it amplifies the size of the Brimstone laser. I don't know if it does anything if you are not Azazel. If you have a normal size Brimstone, I should say. Alright, we're starting to roll here. Now, it is only Depths 2, right? Or, sorry, Depths 1 was... What I actually meant to say was Caves 2. So, I'm actually, believe it or not, pleasantly surprised that we're on the, uh, the Depths 1. We're one floor further than I thought we were. And we've largely recovered from our earlier, uh, strife, so... I'm very excited to be on the horizon for win 40 here. I think that's exciting. 40 wins is a huge milestone. If I can, I mean, I don't want to, like, cash out the streak as is, like I'm on the weakest link or something like that. But, um, if I can get to 50, that is a huge streak. That's a streak I'd be excited about, no doubt. Reroll all consumables on the ground. Um, 50 is respectable, beyond respectable for sure. Um, of course, I'm hoping, and, you know, this, again, I think is the, the best streak we've, or the second best streak we've ever had, so... I'm hopeful we can beat the other streak. I'm not going to worry about what that is in terms of numbers yet until we actually get to it or get close enough, you know, to be in striking distance, which is going to take a while here. Um, but that was like 117, 116, something like that. So we're not absurdly far away. Okay, now we get restock, and in theory, the run becomes a joke at this point. Uh, we buy Magic Fingers. Mom's Box of Trinkets is not that good. And then we get Nightlight out of it. Karma, Magic Fingers, well, I think we want Magic Fingers over, um, over the other item that we had, which was Yamaha, which is not very useful for us at all, but I don't think we really want Magic Fingers either. In fact, you know what, I'm going to go back and uh, I think out of all of this, I'm going to go with Mom's Box of Trinkets, and I don't know if it's going to affect... The flat penny, but of course my hope is that we get something a little bit better than that uh, in the future from which we can draw from. Wow, that was an extremely poor bomb. Scissors. Not that good either. We're, we're hoping basically we get curved torn. But I'll accept the cancer item. I'll accept probably liberty cap. I mean, we're at 17 keys. You get diminishing returns to some extent with flat penny. And to some extent, I mean to a large extent. So we'll definitely take uh, the pentagram. We could have bought some Spirit Arts. In fact, we probably should have bought some Spirit Arts. Just, I don't know if we even took any damage on that floor, but better safe than sorry, probably, considering our situation. We're at 5 HP. Let's try to commit that to memory for now. 5 HP. This is the song where we remember that we've got 5 HP. Yeah, we'll definitely take left hand. This is the song where we remember that we've got 5 HP. How much HP do we have? We took a hit, so we're at four and a half. How much? Okay, I'm going to stop. But that's going to be committed to memory now. And you might say that's bullshit. Okay, first off, Donkey Kong plays cool or fun games, sir. That's how you remember the hierarchy of taxonomy. Domain, kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species. 11th grade biology, it's stuck in my brain from that point onwards. Is it useful information? Who knows? I'm not dead yet. Could become useful at some point. Maybe someone's got a gun to my head and says, Give me a, give me a mnemonic to remember taxonomical hierarchy. Then you might say, uh, Oh yeah, well then who sang Reunited and it feels so good? You built a mind palace for that one. Uh, I can't believe you'd even ask me that. It's offensive that you'd think I'd forget it. Obviously that's peaches and herb. You might say, well, two years ago you sang a song about what color pill was a full health pill, so you'd remember it. Do you remember what color pill was a full health pill? Full wide pill, full health pill. 
It's no problem. It's no concern. I recall to a great degree. Oh, baby, I love your way. I don't really want to go to our deal with the devil. Just give me some guppy items, dog. Okay. So I believe in the power of the mind palace. We now have four and a half HP, but none of it is red hearts. So now it's the re 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 remix. We got the four and a half HP, but it's all blue. None of it is red. You see, we got four and a half. We got four HP. You see, and it's all do 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 do. Now I probably should not do this. I was thinking maybe we'd get some little squiggly brimstones. We did not get squiggly brimstones, so I'm just gonna stick with left hand and hope that we get spirit arts or guppy items out of it. Let us move onwards here. This is gonna be. It's not gonna be a, a crazy long run. But it's going to be longer than uh, pretty much any of our recent runs, I think. Oh, we did have like a 40-minute run semi-recently. This is just, it's the proof uh, of what a, a slow start can do to you. I've completely forgotten our full HP song. But you know what? Like four years from now, I'll wake up in a fucking cold sweat and the song will be forever seared into my brain. This is the price we pay. This contract is sealed. So we were actually only like four minutes shy of getting to boss rush, which is a lot faster than I thought we'd actually be able to swing. Right, how many times am I gonna go into that room? Now we are still a little under, oh, there's a tinted rock in there. We are a little under the wire uh, when it comes to HP. We only have five, so we can only get hit four times. We're gonna open every red chest. You know, we're gonna hope that it Works out much better than that. For some reason, we have no music here. Have I turned my volume down? Nope. Did I hit M? There we go. I, apparently, I hit M on the keyboard and turned the music off. It's a valuable hockey. I use it to test recording, so I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. At least we got a spirit heart out of it one way or the other here. But again, it's looking pretty strongly like Win 40's coming here. Now... I was gonna say something about Loki's horn. I was gonna make a joke, you know, the classic Northern Lion Afterbirth Plus joke. First mod I make for Afterbirth Plus. I'm gonna make it so Loki's horn is always uh, shooting in four directions instead of just sometimes shooting in four directions. I'd be interested to know your feedback about that. Because on the... I, I like Loki's horn, as is. I think it's okay, except with items like Ipecac, in which case it's like a genuine kiss of death. Um, but with some items... Loki's horn is really cool. But wouldn't it just be cooler if it worked all the time? I mean, it's not necessarily overpowered to do that, right? I mean, we're gonna we're gonna say in the same breath um, that Loki's horn would be overpowered. We're also, you know, shooting a fucking laser beam out of our face that just nukes every single enemy on the room in like two seconds, right? So it, it's not it certainly wouldn't be on the level of brimstone. I think it would just be it would make it a cooler item for synergies. Instead of having like a percentage chance for it to work, why not just make it work all the time? And why are they making them so small? I don't know, I just felt like that transitioned well into a Jerry Seinfeld impression, I suppose. Alrighty. Excuse me? We have a rune. It's Ansus. That's not what I'm looking for. Mama's in the kitchen with Ansus. Now that's... ooh. Rarely do you get an item out of those, so I'm stoked about that, but um, pinky eye or left hand? I'm still, I'm dreaming a big dream of Guppy here, a Vita style, but uh, kind of hopeful that, ooh, the Joker card, that's actually really good. And now Deep Pockets is finally useful. I was hoping for a better rune, like one that we could actually use to maybe give us some more items on the chest. Uh, goes by the name of Jera. Maya was a bullfrog. And was a good friend of mine. I think I will take this and blow this guy up. We did get contract from below. This gives us more items on the chest, probably. We have had some luck upgrades and one downgrade, I think. Still risky. And we could have genuinely gone with um, White Pony there, but we haven't taken damage uh, that we haven't planned to take, i.e. Curse Rooms, in, in a little while here. So I'm feeling a little bit uh, bulletproof when it comes to what we're facing in the game right now because our damage is so good. But I think it's best to not be cocky. There is an outside chance, I'd say maybe like 4 to 1 odds, uh, that we don't do the hush fight. What I mean to say is, I think the odds are 80% we won't do the hush fight, 20% we will do the hush fight. And what we need to see in order to do that hush fight is uh, probably like 6 or 7 more spirit hearts. Might sound like a lot, but it's not implausible, you know? Couple of, uh, couple of tinted rocks and then just... Anything else? 
Hierophant card, you know, lucky deal with the devil that gives us Abaddon or something like that. You know, it's all gravy as far as I'm concerned, so I'd consider it. Mom's toenail is not good enough. Keep in mind, you know, we've got the left hand, so we'd be expecting uh, to have a better chance than average to get spirit hearts. We also don't have that much money, but I totally forgot to donate. Hey, cats, what are you doing in my room, Tomo? You got your own room. I mean, it's not a room, but it's a box. You're, you're much smaller than me, so a box is like almost a room size from a relative standpoint. You're actually like your RimWorld colonist right now. Just like stop freaking out. I don't know why you gotta be so zany. It's not cats were supposed to sleep like 19 hours a day. Yet none of those hours overlap when, when we sleep. It doesn't make any goddamn sense. Well, we are gonna qualify for the hush fight pretty much doubtlessly. Oh, are you kidding me? If I got hit there, I would've been mad. That dude sucked up like 80% of a brimstone shot and was just like, Sorry, I was in my invincibility period, so it doesn't count. Yeah, whatever. I object. You know what? We will take Judas's shadow. Does not bother me. Actually creates a pretty sick wombo combo that scares the shit out of me and probably should. But now we can use our Joker card. And then take a deal with the devil that would otherwise kill us. Um, which it will. And it's really bad. This is a terrible idea, but is it really that bad? Yes, it's horrible. But we're gonna do it anyway to get that sweet ass damage. And now we also um, have the Judas of Shadow respawn. So we're praying for HP. And thankfully we got one. I think one might be all we need. But I just did this to let you know. First off, I think it's it's the right choice, and I stand by it being the right choice. Um, is it frightening? Yes. Okay, I guess we gotta kill these guys first. That's fine. Just get a full, shot fully charged here. Um, I stand by this being the right choice. However, it is frightening. And I also wanted to let you know, the zaniness does not die. The zaniness remains. Even as I approach a situation in which I would really desire having a little bit more HP, I think we're making the right decision, even at the expense of our own, you know, mental health, perhaps. Ooh, that sucks. So we're gonna we're gonna hold the answers for the chest. Normally, I try to um, not speed through the chest. This is a little bit of a special case. I'm a little worried about our HP. So Ansus is gonna be key there. Um, don't forget to drop the left hand. This actually is a situation where I'm not even gonna joke around about it. You know, we we've got to lose the left hand. Hopefully, we find a, a much better trinket. Oh, there we go. One spirit heart. Lock down. 48 hour energy. Eh, Red Patch is like, okay, Judas's tongue doesn't do shit for us. So let's just ignore that for now. I've got this Perks Pill. I don't think we need that. I honestly, with 27 keys, I think we're totally fine. So I got this Perks Pill. I think we probably use that against Isaac just to open up, uh... Just to open up a slot for us with deep pockets to, to have something else on the next floor instead of saving it for Blue Baby. Isaac basically is Blue Baby, if we're being honest, so... You know, you're still getting a decent chunk of value out of it, I think. Okay, I, I believe in the power of Brimstone Lump of Coal. Uh, it, it destroyed Mega Fatty in one hit. Mind you, we've got some other stuff going for it, but... Okay, um, we have Liberty Cap. It's not what I want, but it's pretty good. And I did ask for it earlier, but... Um, I am looking for, for... I'm looking for, let's be honest, Curved Horn. I'll accept the Cancer Trinket, but... As time goes on, it gets more and more likely that, that we're totally set here. 3 HP is just not much of a buffer to work with, so I'm just trying to, you know, feel a little bit more secure in things. I gotta say, our rate of fire is fantastic. Well, there's our boss fight. I wish there was a way we could take this down to the next floor and just not have it active for the opening room, but we can't do that. Whatever those chests are when they spawn is what they're gonna be, uh, when we leave, so, or what they're going to be forever. So I guess we'll take Liberty Cap. It's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. Uh, so Isaac should go down relatively quickly here. I think he will get in a couple of uh, a couple of waves. I don't think he's going to die. You know, like as soon as we go in here, but we're probably going to do like eighty percent of a phase per attack. So that's fairly solid here. Probably got two of these, although he's far enough away. Yeah, one actually melted him. Thank you, lump of coal. Okay, still a little tension in the air. This run has been good for the uh, good for the heart. 
At least if, if giving your heart a workout is good for it. I think it is, unless it kills you, so that's pretty dope. Speedball. No spun, but speedball is good regardless. We did give up Lump of Cola. I don't think we've gotten speed upgrades since. Uh, Mongo Baby, Cricket's Body, at least for a tears upgrade. And then uh, Infamy. Actually, like a solid 8 out of 10. And I, I don't give out an 8 that easily. I think an 8 out of 10 is, is deserved in this situation. Particularly, Infamy does have the capabilities to, to save the run. Not that it needs it, but Infamy could do it if it, uh, if it needs it in the future. We get a chest? No. Okay. Hookworm. Not interested. All right. We're, it's getting to the point where we're basically fine. We have the wafer effectively for one room. Ah, Could have just spun me there. Yeah, we got the wafer for two rooms. So we might as well pop one right now. Although that may have actually cost me a one-hit KO there. Well, last trinket and it's burnt penny. Does not matter. Pop perks, we can get hit five times. We are not going to get hit five times. Okay, well that was terrible and frightening and also lovely. I hope you guys had a good time. If you're watching these in the morning with breakfast, have a good day. Stay productive, keep your head up high. Remember that we're all going to die someday, but use that knowledge to fuel you to be a good person because, you know, you don't have that many chances to be a good person. You might as well do it today. Eat a piece of fruit today. Get some vitamins. Drink a glass of water, okay? Bring energy into your body. Consider respiring or respirating. Put oxygen into your lungs, extract the oxygen from it, and then exhale carbon dioxide after uh, your body has created it as a waste product in the process of metabolism. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.